Got a lot of nerve coming round here boy. You gonna pull those pistols spicy or just stand there whistling Dixie? Don't know what parts you're from. But round these here parts. It's high noon. I haven't the foggiest concept as to how nobody told me about this game before. Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades is far and above the dumbest game that I've ever played, and every minute of it was fantastic. Can you die in the main menu? When the Second Amendment was written in the late 1700s, it was written thusly, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security and then a bunch of verbose nerd trash after that. So let me get out ahead of this and say that if the Founding Fathers could see a well-regulated militia holding a bunch of these, what is that? They would weep. Is it... Is this even grabbable? Do I need to... Oh my god. This is the dumbest game. I believe. Come on. This game is a pipe dream that after smoking a kilogram of opium, Ooh. the developers manifested into reality. You like guns? You don't have to. Here's over 400 of them. Oh my god. This is absurd. How am I just now seeing that there's every gun in the world and then what is what is the super illegal Tech 9 mod? You like melee weapons? Well, we'll come back to that later in the video. Pistols? Present. Submachine guns? All here. Shotguns? Let freedom ring. I like it. That's neat. Your first introduction to bolt-action rifles begins with the Mosin Nagant M38, a rifle that was developed in the 1880s by some guy in Russia and perfected in the 2020s by some guy at his computer. Oh, that's clean. Does it... Oh, it auto-ejects the stripper clip. That's sweet. Missed it. There we go. This game does feel good. I see what everyone's saying. I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of weapon customization. Probably because I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of paging through every weapon the game has available. But the tutorial level convinced me the game has plenty of customization to offer. That's tactical as hell. This is what George Washington would have wanted. Unlike VR shooters like Pavlov or Onwards, where the weapon handling is somewhat simplified but still feels good, the weapon handling in H3 VR pulls no punches and rewards the player who knows their way around. Right, gotta rack the bolt. And let me be the first to say that I truly did not know my way around. Look, I'm not a gun guy. Buying and shooting firearms doesn't really do it for me. The entirety of my knowledge of firearms has been built by A, playing airsoft when I was 12, and B, playing first person shooters in all the time since I was 12. When my fiancé asks me why I know every gun in every movie, it's not a case of genuine fascination with firearms. It's because I've been 360 no-scoped by that gun more times than I can count. So when the time came to fire an RPG in H3VR, which is the 21st century equivalent of knowing how to thrust a spear, my lack of nuance was center stage. Is there a, is there a safety on this thing? Oh, there it is. I never knew about that. What am I missing here? Grab forward grip. Pull trigger. Oh, I'm pulling the wrong trigger. This is the grip. I'm grabbing it with my back hand. The trigger's right here. I'm grabbing that with my forward hand. Ah, look with your eyes. That's pretty cool. Let me do that again. Felt like could really get used to this. Make sure to like and subscribe for more gaming content. This guy didn't. The developers of H3VR have clearly put a lot of love into the game. Beyond the already obscene number of firearms, they've added plenty of guns that are just for laughs. And these guns are a masterpiece. Grab the deagle. <laughs> okay. Is that a misspelling of deagle or is it actually called... Wait, what's it under? Page two out of three of handguns. Oh no, actually it is called the... <laughs> <laughs> this game is so stupid. <laughs> what is this? <laughs>
This is not what the founding fathers wanted. What what is this gonna shoot? <laughs> it's just somebody making gun noises. Let me get two of those. I digress. If you're looking for what the Founding Fathers truly intended, the game has that too. But to be frank, it took someone with a couple more wrinkles in their brain than I had to understand how to operate such a weapon. Alright, how to use flintlock. So we need the cartridge, and then we need to ramrod the cartridge in, right? Ah, oh, right, yes! Shot in. There we go. This will. Oh yeah, that'll put a full stop to any rap scallion who enters my farm. Nope. You spilled all the powder. Oh come on. Social credit deducted. The game also comes standard with a handful of throwables. These are notably easier to use. You think it went out? Nope. Bang snaps. On chat's suggestion, I spawned into the grill house, which is like a kill house, but no paper targets and a whole lot of meat. Here, I was presented with a large sandbox with borderline unlimited weapon customization, free reign on loadout selection, a body pillow, Nani? and as many sausages as I could handle at once. Alright, here we go. Not clear. Oh no. My god. I feel bad for these sausages. Despite the developer's propensity for well-modeled firearms, they took the time to model a wide array of melee weapons, just in case you wanted to play Blade and Sorcery without spending 20 more dollars, and with way more dismemberment. Oh my god. Can I can I beat the door down? Oh, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Did I just deflect bullets? That's badass. The United States Marine Corps teaches four fundamental gun safety rules that can be shortened to treat, never, keep, keep. Treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Never point a gun at anything you don't intend to shoot. Keep your finger straight and off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Keep weapons on safe until you are ready to fire. I see a bright light! H3VR makes following these rules a bit of a moving target. There are games you can spend $60 on and get absolutely zero return on investment. Then there are games you can spend $60 on and play at varying intervals for the rest of your life. H3VR only costs $20, and I can tell you that it's going to fall into the latter category. There's a lot more VR content on my channel if you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys for all the support in the past month. I really enjoy goofing around and playing video games with you all, and I didn't really expect my videos to get as many views as they did. So thank you. I hope you all have a great month of May, and I can't wait to see you around stream and on the next video.